Terrapin. I'm Rusty Skies. I am Pug. My name's Novel. I'm Kamali. I'm Ray. Okay, and I am from Dirty Kid Village. Fat, Fat Kid's, Kids Kitchen. kitchen. <laughs> uh, Nick and Knight. I'm camped over by Turtle Tea Kitchen. I'm camped by Story Glory. Uh, we're from Stockpot Kitchen. This is our pot. When I was a teenager, the hippie movement started, and it, it was an immediate new direction for humanity. We saw that the old ways of war and money and domination were coming to an end. But here in the kitchens at Rainbow, we have a foundation of community going on. So we your, your hot soapy, your bleach, and then your rinse. And then you build bliss wells to dry our dishes on, to serve food on, to prepare food on. There are different kitchens like the Love and Ovens. They will have bread racks and they build ovens from the earth. Philosophy of Rainbow. Cool. <laughs> My philosophy is constantly changing. I think that Rainbow is one of the greatest experiments in anarchy that you can find. You always get to meet a lot of new people and sometimes I get to help in the kitchens. For me it's a place to be myself. It's a place where you can meet like-minded individuals and you can pursue like your special interests. And the Rainbow Gathering is a decentralized group of people who will collectively gather in a national forest for two to four weeks and build a temporary village. When the Rainbow Gathering started in 72, it took the whole hippie movement and grounded it in Mother Nature. Before that, it was just a cultural experience in the city and it was starting to get corrupted around the time Rainbow started. So Rainbow is a portal to the future of humanity. All of humanity has to embrace these values, loving the earth, sharing amongst each other, and working together. So Rainbow is like a harbinger of the future. This is, this is the prophecy. This is how it's beginning. And this spirit is going to permeate around the world, or we're doomed. generation of us without them without providing a space for the kids in the rainbow gathering then the uh, rainbow could just dwindle out well mamas and babies first obviously we're parents and babies first um you know we all acknowledge that kids are young and need support um i think from a kitchen standpoint that's how i view kids i see kids and i'm like 
what can we give the kids? <laughs> like, how can we help the kids? We have heart fires, we have heart songs, we have hearts to cheer. But the heart is a tender muscle you see, it can be broken so easily. Not with a knife or a gun or a bomb, that would destroy your heart. But broken with a promise broken. Don't love mate, make love, take love, forsake love, need love, desire love want love because you're never going to give your heart you're going to protect your heart you're going to be making taking forsaking needing want desire only when you give your heart can you be open to receive another's heart All the fairies are going to love this. Oh. 